this session we shall discuss some problems on your performance measures of the CPU. So, probable get questions and probable uh, semester questions. So, this is a question and here we will be having the answers. So, let us discuss on the question at first. Calculate the CPI that, that is cycles per instruction and MIPS million instructions per second for a CPU with 200 megahertz. That means, this particular CPU is having this frequency. So, what is this? This is nothing but your F or frequency, okay, which is executing a benchmark program with the following instruction mix. So, this is the instruction mix. What are the categories are there? Arithmetic and logic unit oriented instructions, load and stored instructions, branch instructions and others. And this particular program is this particular instructions are having this amount of percentages of their occurring. If you go on adding them, obviously you are going to get 100. And this ALU instruction is having 1 cycles per instruction, CPIs for the respect, respective categories have been written in the third column. So, here we are considering that this particular program is having a mix of 100 instructions with this categories, with this respective percentages. So, I shall have to calculate the CPI and MIPS. Before going for the solution, uh, let me tell you that it is having a prerequisite of the previous videos where we have discussed this M props and then this CPI, MIPS, everything we have discussed in that particular video. Please go through that video and then come to the solution. So, let me go for the solution at first. So, at first I am going to calculate the CPI. In that video, we have discussed that the CPI will have the formula like this. That means, par instruction CPI into the instruction count and that has to be summed for i is equal to 1 to n. So, that is the total cycle count you are getting for different kinds of instructions and then it has to be divided by instruction count obviously, because cycles per instruction. So, instruction count will be coming in the denominator and that is the uh, equation for the CPI calculation here. So, now you see we are having here 38 percentage. So, out of 138 number of instructions with the CPI 1. So, 38 into 1, 15 into 3 and then 42 into 4 and then 5 into 5. So, this is the total cycle count by how many program, how many instructions are there? 100. So, 100 will be the instruction count. So, let me go for the addition. So, 38 into 1, 15 into 3, 42, 42 into 4 and then we are having this 25. So, if you add them it is 70, if you add them it is 108. So, 108 plus 168 is nothing but your 276. So, 276. So, 276 by 100 that is 2.76. Okay, so, this is a very simple calculation I have done. Now, MIPS, what is the formula for MIPS? Please watch the prior videos. Clock rate by CPI into 10 to the power of 6. Okay, so, clock rate. Here the clock rate I told you that it is 200 megahertz. So, 200 mega means 10 to the power of 6 into 10 to the power of 6 by CPI just now I have calculated and million. So, 10 to the power of 6 will be there and then if you go on doing it is 70.24. So, here we have got two answers for the CPI and for the MIPS. So, these sort of questions are very much probable in your coming exams. Please check them. Okay. Thanks for watching.